Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'll try to make this one a quick one. I know that a lot of people are studying for boards right now and they're getting, for, getting ready for October. So I just wanted to finally bring my video about some of the best apps that you can download, whether you have passed boards already or you are looking to study for boards. So keep watching. Okay, so if I'm looking down, it's because I have my iPad here. And side note, these are just blue light glasses, which I recommend for studying on the computer a lot. Um, I'll leave a link for the ones that I actually bought from Amazon. Okay, so three of my top favorite study apps for studying for boards are going to be PT365, P NPTE, Pocket Prep, and MBTE Final Frontier. So those are three apps where you can get a daily question each day and it even lets you go back and record and go back and review the answers that you got right and wrong and the rationale. So you're getting your daily dose of answering uh, MPTE type questions every day and it's three of them every day that you can get. So first with PT365, that's a free app from Score Builders, if I'm not mistaken. So they have their question a day that you can um, answer and it gives you the rationale. And if I'm not mistaken, it even gives you like a reference. For the um, Pocket Prep app, it actually has a free version where you can answer a question a day. And then it has a paid version where you get a question bank of about 400 questions and you can make many tests i think up to like either 50 or 100 questions so you get a little bit more practice with sitting down in a test setting to take all of them together you get the rationales for each one they give you the explanation and um, you get that practice if you want to pay for it and if not then it's completely free and you can just get the free question today and the study references and the rationale now for the MPTE Final Frontier, which is probably my favorite, you can actually get the question a day and it gives you the rationale. And then if you actually have the Final Frontier package, you can see him kind of go into more in-depth answers for um, the classes that are actually done with the course. Uh, I found this one pretty in depth and pretty close to the actual questions for boards and for finding out where my weak spots are. Now for these three apps starting out, the way I used them to study for boards was actually going through each of them um, every day and then using that to find any holes in my knowledge and things. Now granted, this is the app, these are the apps that I used the first time around that I studied for boards. When I went and studied the second time around, I didn't use them as much. But if you know you're further out for studying for boards and you just kind of want to pick your brain and see where your weak spots are, it's probably a good way to go to kind of start using the app. Now some runner ups as far as favorites for apps that you can use. It's gonna be a long list. All of these apps are gonna be down below in the description box. But I would say the True Learn app, which is something that I found out about through my school. Um, they actually gave us access. Um, I'm sure um, you can sign up for it and pay for it yourself. I'm just not sure how much it costs. But it gives you a database of questions that you can answer and you can also have um, text reminders sent to your phone so you can get a reminder if you missed a question on what the rationale is and to look it up and things like that. There's the good old tried and true Quizlet where you can make flashcards for any questions that you may have missed and things that you want to look up. Um, everybody knows about that one usually using it through undergrad and all. So, Quizlet is also free and you can make your own flashcards that you want to use. Picmonic is another really good source that you can use. I think they have some free options as in like a free trial possibly. And then you can sign up to get a membership where it's like $30 or so for like maybe three or four months. So the duration of you studying for from now until a test is like $30. And I really like Picmonic. That was one of the sources I used too when I was studying for boards because it gave you pictures, but it was really detailed and it gave you um, a really related way to remember concepts. Um, if you want to use Picmonic, that's somebody that I've connected with lately doing some partnerships and I actually have a link below for a coupon code. So check out the description box on that. 
Now moving on to my app, say you're not studying for boards and you just want to have some good apps to use in clinic, I have a few of them. So Tiny Scanner is one of them. I like to use that even when I'm studying, trying to get materials from a piece of paper to my phone, to be able to email to myself, things like that. I think Tiny Scanner is free, but um, I just paid like a one-time $5 fee to, to get a really good version of it. And then I can have all of my materials go with me whenever I switch which phones. HEP to go is another good app to use. Um, I like to kind of brainstorm on there for uh, different exercises if I'm trying to kind of get through a roadblock. So HEP -E -E to go is a good one too. Another good one I like to use sometimes when I'm in the clinic, it's always a good reference, um, having a good anatomy app. So the anatomy app that I use, I think it was $2.99. I don't know if that's changed or anything by now, but the anatomy app um, is the name of it. Um, it's just anatomy, it's like a blue icon. Uh, check out the description box. I'll try and link a picture or something here too for what it looks like. And those are all of my favorite apps. I hope this was a quick and informative video for you. I'll list all of the names for them down below. All of my apps that I like to use while I'm studying and um, now that I'm in the clinic. My top three again are MPTE Final Frontier, PT365, and Pocket Prep. Those are three ones. If you're really far out for boards, like maybe a year and you're just trying to figure out, yeah, what don't I know? Or even in clinic, good place to start. And check out the description box for those coupon codes and those links to the information. And if you want to hop on the Picmonic train and be able to get a discount code, check out the description box for that. Um, if you have any questions, as always, just leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time in a story time video, possibly. Bye.